Well, hello there, campers. I would like to share how I used Flipgrid to uh, start the year. And I've used Flipgrid in that class several times, actually. I love using Flipgrid. And had students introduce themselves to me based on some of their uh, writing that they did on a template to introduce themselves. They would record a Flipgrid and I would say, okay, hold up, hold up your pages. So it's been a great way for my students to interact with each other in a virtual uh, environment. I get to give them feedback and they get to give me what they don't know. Thank you. I've been creating um, Spanish um, lessons on HyperDocs and everything's on HyperDoc. I have um, YouTube videos and I have done a couple looms. I have embedded choice board into my students daily activities through Canvas. So when doing some HyperDocs or some choice boards, um, I'm able to give them um, the ability to say make a video or um, create an art project. Basically all of their daily activities are presented to them at the same time and they're able to make choices on when and which order they do these activities. I've really been trying to build in some formative assessments um, that give them choice and the HyperDocs allows it to just all be in one place so that they go here, do you want this link, this link, this link, um, with instructions um, which has made it a lot more simple in pushing out assignments to students. I really liked it because everything's in one place, which is one of the beauties of HyperDocs is they can just kind of work through it. And um, it's been going really well. So lots of positive feedback about HyperDocs and um, I like using them. One of the sessions that I viewed was Canvas Studio. I use Canvas Studio as a way to collect YouTube videos in the Storm and Studio that I can use for our STEM time for science. I'm really excited about Canvas Studio because it stores all my videos in one place. I could then go in using the studio tool, create a maybe a one minute, 30 second little clip on exactly how do you solve that problem, showing the students step by step. Really great YouTube videos, make sure the kids have access for it. And a fantastic tool that I have learned to use in this TLC and I highly recommend it. Canvas Studio Rocks, love it.